Hi, subscribe to the Open Gate Show on YouTube. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Open Gate Show for Sunday, April 14th, 2024. We have 10 races, features the Prince Consort Trophy Race. It's a prep race for the classics for the Chills this year. 12 noon will be first race. Before I get to that, the open gate shout out to Peter Level, a gentleman who is one of the best fans of the open gate show, along with Dennis Harrison, uh, Sir P, Fana, and Fortis, both have passed on uh, in the recent years, and the open gate show hope their souls are at peace. Peter Level has informed me with a lot of things, stats, horse breeding, and a lot of things about horses, including overseas horses as well. First race, named the Everglade Farms Limited Race, Everglade Farms, owned by the, the Harvey Syndic, the Harvey family, and they have produced a lot of good horses. The Harvey's made a great impact into horse racing from the, uh, um, Larry Harvey's father in Westmoreland. Then we have Larry Hosey, Percy Hosey, all trainers, and Charlie did very well here and overseas, as well as his mom Ruth. Ten declared for this race, five and a half furlongs or 1,100 meters. It's a maiden condition race for Phillips only, section one. Number one, Malayan Queen, a debutant, born the 15th of March. Just a pretty bad midnight hawk out of Michelle's the boss by War Marshal Mark Perry owned and bred this horse. Colin Ferguson trains Rudolf Harding. The groom only Scott will ride. Um, Malayan Queen has been pushed at Undercutter's track with no results. And uh, I don't expect this horse to do anything in the near future based on that. Number two, Immeasurable Joy, born here in Utah. This well bred filly who was the howling favorite on debut way back, 10th of December 2023, going four for the straight. Uh, finished a flower in eight and three quarter in six. Behind also smart, brownie brownie, and Kenthia. Uh, makes her season debut as a trio. And um, I'm sure something uh, uh, went very wrong with this horse. Why? She took so long to return to the racing. Maybe it is corrected now. So, we'll see tomorrow. Number five, Dancing Aviator won well on debut, but was disqualified. And I'm thinking that this horse should make amends tomorrow for connections. Number six, Awesome Nine, could again get on the board. Number seven, Lady Gambadia. Um, got first report in both career starts. If a lot of the pace could close <clears throat> for a low placing on the board. Number eight, the Miracle Angel, a debutant born the 4th of January, adjusted Philip by Berlin and the Tiger out of My Angel by Regional Merit. Racing Associates 2, owned and bred source. <coughs> Pardon, Robert Pearson trains, Cleveland Walters, the groom. Q is a gentle the apprentice, he will ride. The Miracle Angel will need this race. Malayan Sheets Dallas Love should find an exotic spot after doing OK and debut that was the 23rd of March. Five furlongs round. Uh, stayed one pace, I would say. Finished second, five and a half lengths at midnight. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just going to try. Number 10, Sipping on Sunshine, well supported last out, but floundered without the blinkers. The blinkers are on, on debut, and this horse closed and finished well. Third, one and a half lengths behind Nerissa Star. Um, and Woman's Princess. 
the blinker is back on and uh, and this is the track of the Mark Walker. So let's see what will happen. Number five, Dancing Aviator number one, Malian Queen. Sorry, number two, in my short of a joy. What am I saying? Number nine, she's a Dallas Love. Number six, awesome line. Number ten, sipping on sunshine. I am expecting this one to go into more with the blinkers. Back on. Second race. It's a restricted allowance. Five. Made about five and up was only one once. An imported five and up will mean the maiden had once. Eligible. Six declared. This race is named in honor of Barrington Daly. Uh, owner and breeder has been doing very well. Sensational move. It's the best horse he has so far. Seven furlongs or 1,400 meters. Number one, Ahmad Ali. Close for a good second to the out of class special gift. Gets reddish Roman now. Mm, can win if focused. Number two, Blue Sky, looking up a bit since change, changing stables. Number four, Catnode Cathy, has been off color of late, but is easily the lone speed here. And um, Gab Stephen Foster could get brave and try to keep in front to all of all in sundry. Number five, a surety, uh, may close for a minor uh, board placing. Number six, who done it? Gets back the rider who had the sole winner about her, about he, that's Ruja Laho, should be in the top three. I, uh, well, more than likely. Number one, though, Amadani. Number four, Cottonwood Cathy. Number six, Derek. Third race, another six or field. This race is named in honor of Dr. P.A. Henry. A very distinguished family who adores animals and surely horses are included. They are owners and breeders, and they really add a lot of color into the racing at Planet Cayman's Park. Uh, normally, the groom and the, the entourage, they are dressed in the same attire. Uh, that is, um, on top, that is the jersey, the ganses. You've seen them a lot, baby-like, and those, and those horses, Philipsiana trains. For them, also, a uh, sobriety. So strictly alone four, for nearly about five year olds and up was only one, two races. And imported five and up were non winners of two. Four hundred meters or seven furlongs. Number one, AKA Storm. Um, third start since claim and now has the champion rider Ren Lewis aboard. Chances are AKA Storm will be ready to blow. Number two, Diamond Rock should have a fair chance of getting in the mix of the top three. Number three, so magnificent, seeking a hat trick of wins, but has to do more than magnificent in order to achieve the same. Number four, Sneaky Go, all you need to do is create that last run to fight this out. That was on the 25th of February, going six and a half furlongs, when Stalon. British third, two and a half lengths behind older class premier identity. Anchorman finished second. Um, Sneaky Joe with the neck behind Anchorman. Kevin Foster now has the reins once again. He won aboard the source the last time he rode. Number five, Anika Bell was enjoying a good form cycle, but seemingly had a hiccup or hiccups. And he's back now, interestingly, with the Radish Roman. The six special gifts will be on the lead, and with the, and with the form line he has, will have to be caught. Top three, number six, special gifts, number four, Sneaky Fox, Sneaky Joe rather, number one, A.K. Storm. Then you find number two, Diamond Rock, uh, or, and or number five, Anika Bell. Fourth race has attracted seven uh, declared, seven uh, they'll be going five from straight over a thousand meters straight, named in honor of Laurie Hefeth. The Hefeth family started out Kenneth Mattis with aggregate, aggregate to what came. Uh, Laurie Hefeth has done tremendously well as an owner and breeder, and Blue Mental readily comes to mind. 
and you've had others, including Deputy Report, uh, the Open Gate Show applauds all who have invested in our local horse racing. This race is a made special weight race for neighborhood trials. Locally, well, neighborhood trials and overseas trials and up. Far from the street, yes, five imported are in this race. Number one, Titan Tempo, um, born the 28th of April, to be called by Maximum Mischief, out of Star of Joha, by Joa. Edgar Miller owns Philip Siana Trains, Emerald Q Partner Incorporated, and TCR Ranch, bred the source in the state United States, David Carter, the groom, should be more. He will be riding. As a matter of fact, every horse in this race was born in April, except for number four, Prince Ammon. Titan Tempo has been coming on a bit, especially of late, but we'd need this race. And, however, could get a place on the board. Number two, Rags to Riches, seemingly need more time. That's the other flip on the horse, he has three entrants here. Number three, Commander Z, a debutant, U.S. importee, Chester Colt, born the 15th of, of uh, April, bred Kozan by one, two, by Montbrook, Robert Chung, owns the source, Spencer Chung trains, Brent Fleming and Crystal Fleming owns, well, bred the source, Tevin Rose the Groom, Tevin Foster will ride. This horse will debut with tongue tie, cigarette and Lasix. Highly thought of gold, whose sire has been running very early. That's Kozan. Bred for speed, and that he has. Looking to be a good sort, and I'm expecting this one to win. Number four, Prince Aman needs more time. Number five, Magnificent Rose, another US deputant. This horse uh, is bred Cloud Computing by Cocktail Cruz by Hennessy. Born the 29th of April, that be Brown Philly. ACK Stables. Own this horse, Philip Siana Trains, LC Cattle Grove Farms, they are the breeders in the States that bred this one. Richard Jones, the groom, only the Mullins, he will ride. Means time, but could get a place in, on the board. Number six, Yorkis, another US debutant. Sorry, is it? No. Well, uh, let me correct and go back. It's two horses here that are. No, no, no. I'm sorry, only one that was not born in April. Anyway, number six, Yorkish, born the 15th, the 17th of April, trio Grey Roan, called by Midnight Hawk with a sweet pepper by Adore the Gold, Mark Perry, owned by the source, Robert Harding, the groom, Colin Ferguson, the trainer, Yves Pinnock will ride. Yorkish will need time. Number seven, shooting star. Born the 12th of April, a big court by Tapitra, out of the fuse Nebula, by Candy Ride, Michael Edwards, own and bred the source, and Stephen Smith, the groom, will have tongue tie, cigarette, and Lasix, Roddy Schumann gets the call. Well built, well built US importee who has been around for a while. He's tenderly coming on and should do connections well. Number three, Commander Z. Number five, Magnificent Force. Number seven, Shooting Star. Number one, Titan Temple. Race five, name in honor of Sandro Solomon. Ideal Horse Farms. A new uh, person coming into our local office. And this was a breeder. I think she bred the horse. Um, um, that was Don Pablo, yeah, uh, a female, and we wish her all the best in her new venture. This race for children up is an optional claiming race, two hundred to two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Six children up who has only won twice, and made a bed five rows who are still maiden are eligible. Eight declared. Seven furrows or fourteen hundred meters. Number one, Kingsford, been winning. Number two, Golden Emperor. Coming back now, looking a bit okay, and uh, connections are expecting a good effort. Number three, Donald James, winning a horse here, must be respected. 
Number four, fall in me forever. I'm back from a brief break after being well supported last out. That is on the 28th of January, going four for them straight and three to one and finish miserably. Twelve and a half and eight behind Sabina. Nothing but the nothing but trouble and uh, reminiscent bowler. Number five, Silent Cat. It's taken a bit of time to be back to race from the race on the 27th of January. When at 22 to 1 in the 400,000 tag, this all three fought eight and three quarter length. Behind was the Indian T. Brady and Sentran Cat could find a place in on the board. Um, it's dropping down in, in, in the field tag from 400 to 250,000. Dollars. Number six, friend of the family, being a bit fussy, and if such it could be a friend for connections to earn some money from placing in this race. Number seven, biblical legend, other fair form sites, and we'll fight this out, I would imagine. Number eight, Dr. Gray, looking at K, off a, coming off the sergeant. But I'm selecting number three, Jamal James, number one, Kingswood, number seven. Uh, that's Biblical Legend, number, number two, Golden Emperor. Race six, named in honor of Lakeland Farms Limited. Lakeland Farms, owned by Richard Lake, a gentleman who was invested heavily as an owner and a breeder into horse racing. He had horses like Quiet Strength, Temperance Oak, uh, quite a number that has done well, and he's bred some top horses uh, also, time declared for this six and a half for race or 1300 meters. It's restricted to one five. Native bird folding up was only one once, and imported folding up who remains a maiden are the ones that are eligible. Number one, Cosmic Force uh, has to improve to win, but should run well. Number two, Slam Dunk, no workout, and has the secret and tongue tie off, and I'm off that one because of, of all those. Number three, great commander. Strange, he came off the pace last out, running on very well. On the 9th of March, six furlongs at 41 to 1, was last at the four, four furlong mark and close to be second. A length man, Ertigo, um, was noble attitude who came back to win. Was two and three quarter lengths behind. Um, she got a very good chance with great commander. Of fighting this out. Number six, Joblin, been rested. Um, well, so it seems, and could have had some issues, more than likely, because that last time the source ran was on the 16th of October. Breaking is made very, very easily, running by seven and a half lengths, beating Ertigo. Mm, very interesting. Was having a fair form cycle before uh, um, before entering this twenty twenty four season, and surely can handle these, and more than likely be in the top two or three. Number seven, Dream Warrior, hasn't been happy since the change of stable. Number nine, Golden Syrup, get for the Roman. A fussy thought. Who is calmed can improve. Number ten, Waterman John. Very disappointed since that very good win on the 7th of October when six furlongs, sorry, not on the 24th of September rather going six and a half furlongs. This very trip winning by five and a half lengths in a very good time of 121 flat, beating job lane. Mm, five and a half lengths. Okay, well, it's very interesting that these horses, these horses are meeting again, so maybe. <laughs> They could uh, figure. Anyway, I'm selecting number six, Dublin. From number three, Grey Commander. Number ten, Waterman John. Number one, Cosmic Force. Number nine, Golden Syrup. Seven trace, and named the Carl Anderson. Another who, who has invested very heavily and as an owner, a breeder, as well as he trains horses. Uh, comes to mind readily is awesome. Uh, he won the Oaks, and I think the Derby, awesome, um, whatever his name, anyway. So, be for that. But Carl Anderson, 
Yeah, the open gate show applaud he for doing so well. Fix the curb for this. It's for chewing up criminal rate, six hundred to seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Five followers round over thousand meters round. Number one out of Agilon won at the sales tag recently. And he's back down there. As a matter of fact, the last time he was at this tag he won. Very easily, two and a half length beating Robert Me, who's here in Mr. Mandate. Number two, Robert Me has more to find. Number three, one like it, must not be overlooked. Number four, similar line, I've been running at this sale tag of seven fifty thousand dollars. Uh, tomorrow gonna make the fifth time. Nobody claims this horse. And that's interesting. Has Ray Lewis who rode him the la on last and um could factor with this. Number five, former stablemate of Simba the Lion. That's Cataba. Claimed when placed at this tag and returns at the same seal tag by trader Ricardo Brown. Funny race. Number three, one like it. Number one, Lord of Agilent. Number four, Simba the Lion. One of those should surely win. The eighth race is named after the gentleman. Almost soon to retire, Edison Chai. A gentleman, a very fine gentleman. He has been owning horses for years, up in years ago. Uh, I've bet some good horses of recent. Atomica is one. Ten declared. Five and a half furlongs or a thousand or eleven hundred meters, sorry. It's a major commission rate. This is section two for the native Phillies only. Number one, Faithful Downey, a debutant. Born the 27th of May. Uh, Bay City by Soul Wild of Agnes T by Liquidity. DSTL and Associates owns the source. Desmond Lewis, the, the, the breeder. Fitz John Richards, the trainer. Delroy Lewin, the groom. Robert Halliday will ride this one. The source will debut with Blinkett and Tangtai. Looking to have use and could factor somewhere in the lower exotics. Number three, have a joy. <laughs> Can be looked at. Uh, uh, this seed is, is not all that strong. Number four, Roman Princess only needs to duplicate that February 25th run when he closed from way off to finish a length and a quarter second. Number six, Star and Roman Princess uh, came back two subsequent starts and did nothing. I'm expecting some improvement from this horse tomorrow. Number six, Princess Fiani gets. Tongue tie and the cigarette for a family connection. Kevin, Kevin Foster, his brother Carlton, and his dad. I'm sure they, 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 they well, they're combining and they're expecting this horse to do better than on debut when he finished third, eight and a half length behind the winner. This princess has a say, a serious say, in the race of his nature. Number seven, hit and run. Poor sort, and it really boggles my mind how on earth this horse got two to five in the double round the third of February. Well, I expected to finish seventh, eleven and three quarter lengths behind the winner. That race had, um, I don't, well, I don't know who was, was in the race that is running here, but hit and run. <laughs> Okay. Number eight, Emaya, stable made of it in run. Dangerous feeling now, I'm thinking. Number ten, Lady Sarabusati. Sarasota, sorry. Is a debutant born the fifth of May, be filled by a combined by Lady Sharvani. By legal process, Bombay Stone Farms own Fitzgerald Richards Chain, Henry Jagai O D J P, he bred this horse. The Royal Lewin the Groom, Roger de Costa, he will ride. This is the second entry here for trainer and the groom, Fitzroy Richards, number one, Fitzroy Downey is the other. Lady Sarsita, interesting line crossing. And for that, I, I think he will do okay here. But number eight for me, on a hunch, Himaya. From number six, Princess Fiani, that's the horse I really like. Number three, have a joy. Number four, Roman Princess. Number 10, Lady Sarsuta. Number 1, Saint Downey. The ultimate race, race 9. 
it's the 21st running of the Prince Consort Stakes. Prince Consort was a Kotsi horse who was trained by Feliciani, owned by Desmond Dallas and another gentleman. Winning by Feliciani, won some classic races and was one of Feliciani's top horse. Uh, plagued by unsoundness, but yet had a heart of gold. Normally in the stretch, leaving the furlong point, he drifts toward the stands, apparently feeling the issue that's affecting he. Good horse. Nine declared for this race. Nine trials. It's a great stake for nearly about trials and courts. Courts and gallons. This race is uh, a stepping stone for the 2000 Guinness Classic that will be here in about three weeks' time. Some far on or 400 meters they go. Number one crowd, crown chaser. One well in debut. 28th of January. Um, going six and a half far on this horse. One pulling a bus. Beating Old Machine and Brenda Boy. Yeah, they haven't won. Those horses have not won in the races yet. But in manner of victory, um, crowd chaser. Bird, bird burn identity or the salty talk by midshipman surely will get the distance and is one for the graphics has not been proved coming to this and has a chance for the top three slot number two Jay Spieth um, trained by top trainer Patrick Lynch and um, so you can expect a good run because he knows how to get a good horse to improve. Um, get the tongue tie on for the first time, and I think that's a huge plus. Will run very good. That I can show you. Number three, Matusa, trained by Richard Azan, another trainer who uh, can get good horses to go to, to improve. Uh, Matusa has been has the breeding line to do well but need to improve if he intends to do well in the classics. And I'm thinking that this horse will get into the top four or five. Number four, Captain Sparrow could cross for a minor place and if <clears throat> ridden from off the pace. Number five, interesting times ahead. This was by Bull Conquest out of my friend Lucy, by Easy Read Thing, trained by Jason Acosta, owned by his mom. Looking tailor-made for this race, and um, has won the prestigious Jamaica Trail Stakes the 26th of December, going a mile. So, um, this journey won't be anything to worry about, for he has improved and looked a picture this morning when cantering for his engagement tomorrow. Seven Foster, a very interesting ride in the Dacosta camp. Number six, Allegiance, another of the entering Nunes entrance that could impact in the top five. Number seven, Tesla Don, looks to be a sprinter to me. Number eight, Unruly Don, quickly back of which I'm against, uh, against this move. Number nine, Midnight Galaxy, has done okay in, 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 in his two starts so far, and could surprise and get a piece of the action. Number five, though, interesting times ahead from number two, Chase Speed. Number one, from Chaser, the top three. Then number three, Montuso. Number six, Allegiance. Final race, Wayne in honor of Wayne Da Costa. A great competitor. Maybe one of the greatest so far in our local horse racing. A breeder, a horseman. Someone that we will never forget and has really impacted a lot in our local horse racing. His son Jason has returned to Jamaica to train and his wife Elizabeth, very, very, very supportive person for Wayne then and now for Jason. Far from straight out 1,000 meters race, 1,000 meters straight, 15 declared an overnight allowance for children up. And one inspired miracle, inspired force rather, uh, from his inner draw, we'll have it hard, but uh, with that race under his belt, could get into the exotics. 
And the tool of volatility, a door so far for those trade has recently uh, prevailed over that in the lower class, up in class now, 54 kilos. I don't, uh, uh, um, could run well, but I don't expect this horse, uh, I don't expect her to win. And the five money monster obviously has been given trainer, Fitzford, trainer owner Fitzford Grisby and breeder too. Some problems, you know, in training this horse as uh, this horse obviously has several issues going on the straight though. That could help and Money Monster could run and run well. Number seven, number one, returning off a sudden. Number four, Ultimate Machine. Mm, loves the straight, but um, I only can exp uh, think of a lower place in the exotic for he. Number nine, Rejected Raja, recent to one of the straight. That was last week and returns quickly. Fit and, well, looks like a sorted old horse. And I'm expecting a good display, a very good display from he. Number 10, Gilbert, gets back the rider who knows him well. Well, that's apprentice Shane Richardson. Gilbert will be part of the low exotics, especially if he breaks well. Number 12, KP's choice, again running. Mm. Uh, I know the, the training pattern since that last race by owner trainer Orly for this horse. And um, if, if what he does to try to refresh his horse and it works, KP Choice should have a chance of factoring in the top five for sure. Number 14, Taurus Boy gets Stephen Foster, runs good out of the straight and could be more focused than on last couple of starts. Number 15, God of Love, still showing his class by earning a spot in the top five. And most of the time, this horse run. Drawn on the outside, um, could factor somewhere in the top five. Uh, sentiments, number 14, Taurus Boy. Number nine, Rejected Raja. Number... Where am I? Number 12, KP Choice. Number 15, God of Love. Number 10, Gilbert. That's it. Good luck. Take care.